So apparently when making the announcements for the Oscar nominations, a lady accidentally called a guy Dick Poop, and his name is Dick Pope. I'm so mature that I am probably going to have to start watching these things now to see things like that. Today I wanted to talk about coldness and how I hate it. It has been really cold. The other day I went out without a hat and gloves because I'm an idiot, and my like head kept getting like blasted with cold. And it wasn't wind, it was just so cold that like it felt like a wall against my face and my head hurt. And it was just a miserable day. I was just talking to Luis about how I was a positive person. But then we went to the store and we were waiting for the bus and he asked me when the bus was coming. And I was like, I don't know, I've given up on life. Which doesn't really sound like something a positive person would say. But I really don't like the cold. It makes me miserable. It makes me, especially when I have to stay out in it, like it's not so bad if I'm out for just a second, but I know I'm gonna come back in right away. But if I have to be outside for a while, I'm miserable. But it's funny because it's relevant to the book that I'm currently reading. The third Game of Thrones Song of Ice and Fire book, known as A Storm of Swords, or as I like to read it, A Storm of S-Words, as if I'm Sean Connery on Celebrity Jeopardy on SNL. Anyway, a lot of this book deals with people living in cold conditions, like beyond the wall with like zombie people, and it's freezing, and there's a character um, I was really identifying with yesterday because he just wants to lay down and sleep because he's so tired of walking. But I really liked it because he says, why won't they let me be? I just need to rest, that's all, to rest and sleep some, and maybe die a little. And as I was reading it, after like that really cold experience the other day, I was just like, yes, I know how you feel, Samuel Tarley. He like put it into words, exactly, but I think when it's this cold and you're reading a book all about how cold it is, it can kind of make you a little bit crazy because like it's supposed to be escapism. And like there are dragons in this book, but right now everybody is just really freaking cold. And so am I. So I'm waiting for the dragons to do something, maybe make a fire so the people are less cold. That would be, that would be great.